जय श्री राम पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड पोटेंशियल्स आर हार्ट इज लाइक ए गार्डन यू कैन ग्रो फियर और फियरलेसनेस यू कैन ग्रो रेशनैलिटी और डॉगमेटिज्म यू कैन ग्रो एनीथिंग यू वांट रिसेंटमेंट और जेनुइन लव what seeds are you planting there that is the samskaras potentials there are infinite every human being is a born genius keep sowing your seeds keep experimenting keep sharpening your skills sharpen the saw hone your skills keep learning because you never know you never know which one of these seeds that you sow will lead you uh, to stupendous successes which you even in your wildest dreams may may not have imagined so we are all we humans are all bundles of potentials we should always aim at the impossible when you aim at the impossible Yeah. my teacher in school used to say aim at the stars you will at least go beyond the trees <laughs> i can never forget that quote aim at the stars you will at least go beyond the trees <laughs> remember it is never never too late to be what you might have become start now a year from now you will uh, you will regret that you didn't start today and uh, and never think that there are just two or three ways in which a thing can be done uh, we are seriously ignorant of the infinite number of combinations which even a few circumstances admit of so the possibilities are infinite keep experimenting and in fact you know people uh, a simple gym example that comes to my mind is people say i am not in the mood you know there is a proverb which says appetite comes with eating hmm appetite comes with eating i don't know whether that is true but i found that motivation comes after you start exercising if you start working out in the gym even though you are not motivated to go to the gym in the first place within a few minutes endorphins get released mood elevators natural mood elevators and you will feel like doing more of it so getting into the action in fact that is the first requirement for success so motivation comes after you get into the act don't wait for motivation create motivation by getting into the act uh sometimes i am reminded of this quote by Uh, christian bowie hmm? uh, who said the method of the enterprising is to plan with audacity execute with vega to sketch out a map of possibilities and to treat them as probabilities wonderful isn't it uh, an american writer christian bowie so possibilities we are talking about possibilities Uh, William James an American uh, psychologist and philosopher who said most people live whether physically intellectually or morally in a very restricted circle of their potential being they make use of a very small portion of their uh, possible consciousness and of their soul's resources in general much like a man who out of his whole bodily organism should get into the habit of using and moving only his little finger great emergencies and crises show us how much greater our vital resources are than we had supposed what a wonderful quote of william james there are so many so many energies slumbering inside us eh so we must continue continuously make effort to self actualize self actualization being all that you can be and if we did all the things we are capable of we would astound ourselves 
Thomas Alva Edison. If we did all the things that we are capable of, we would amaze, astound ourselves. And I am reminded also of a quote by Swami Vivekananda. Uh, he says, No work is petty. Nothing is petty. Everything in this world is like a banyan seed. Nyagrodha, Nyagrodha is the Sanskrit word for the banyan seed. In the Upanishads also, it, uh, uh, this banyan seed is used as a metaphor to explain how infinite power exists in the unseen. Uh, uh, so Vivekananda says, Everything in this world is like a banyan seed, which though appearing tiny as a mustard seed, yet has the gigantic banyan tree latent within it. Uh, he indeed is intelligent who notices this and succeeds in making all work truly great. Hmm? In the Upanishads, you have this exchange between a guru and a shishya. Hmm? I think it was Udalak and Shvetaketu. Uh, um, perhaps Chandogya Upanishad, I am not uh, correct me. Check, please check. So the discussion was, uh, the guru asked the student to bring a seed of uh, the banyan tree. And he asks him, what do you see? He says, I see a seed. You break it up. He sees small grains of, uh, you know, contents of the seed. What do you see? He says that. Okay, I am seeing grains. Break that up further. What do you see? He says, I see nothing. When the smallest part of the seed is broken up, there's nothing. I mean, maybe there's some smell that sticks to your fingers. Huh? So I'm just elaborating the exchange, the samvada in the Vedas, in the Upanishad, which is part of the Vedas. So the Guruji says, see, you see nothing, but in that nothing lies that gigantic banyan tree. So what seems empty is actually full. Quantum mechanics confirms that. So, we are all born geniuses, in fact, born gods, born devas, infinite potentials. Uh, and no work is petty, like uh, Vivekananda just said. We can, every work can become a divine act if it is done with the attitude of service to Krishna. Because the whole of creation is Krishna's family. And if you are serving Krishna's family, that is religion. That is true devotion. Manava seva, madhava seva. In Telugu, that's what we say. Serving mankind is the best ritual. I'm reminded also of Norman Vincent Pele. Uh, though he was a Christian apologist, uh, uh, one of the books written by him, uh, uh, The Power of Positive Thinking, I remember reading in high school. He said, never, never become, a, never be a cynic, never be a skeptic, never be a cynic at least. Become a possibilitarian. Possibilitarian. That's a nice new word he created. Become a possibilitarian. No matter how dark things seem to be or actually are, raise your sights and see the possibilities. Always see them, for they are always there. Life is full of rich possibilities. Hmm? Man, man is a promise that he must never break. Man, you, we, all of us are promises. We are promises. Just think about it. But uh, we have broken those promises, but it doesn't matter. We can try again. The promise is still intact. We can live up to it. Most of us, uh, you know, do not use uh, uh, do not use more than maybe ten percent of our potential, isn't it? There are so many quotes you must have heard of. So we do not come anywhere near exhausting the resources dwelling within within us within our within us. There are deep wells of strength that are never used. Carl Sagan once said, "Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known." Carl Sagan. If you have seen the TV serial Cosmos, astrophysicist, uh, great scientist, NASA director, and uh, uh, he, he started the TV series Cosmos. And he was a very well-read man. He had great respect for the Vedas and Upanishads. In fact, he said, 
the hindu concept of time comes closest to reality hmm? the hindu cosmology according to the vedas is closest to reality he says somewhere something incredible is always waiting to be known i mean this is you know sometimes we might feel that all that is worthwhile to be discovered has already been discovered what else is there <laughs> that is an extremely cynical attitude newton i remember once said when his nephew asked him i believe his nephew asked him on his deathbed uncle hmm, uh, the whole world thinks that you are a genius what do you think of yourself i believe newton said i am like a little boy picking pebbles on the sea shore now you see a simple quote but it is pregnant with meaning so profound what he meant was just imagine how many pebbles might be there on all the beaches on planet earth hmm? infinite isn't it you cannot count the number of grains of sand and pebbles so what he meant was what he meant was i just discovered a law too there are infinite numbers of things that are waiting to be discovered hmm? so what a wonderful quote le brown another great writer who said the limitations you have and the negative things you internalize are given to you by the world the things that empower you the possibilities they come from within the limitations and the negative things you internalize are given to you by the world but the things that really empower you and the possibilities come from within you so remember your state is a field of infinite possibilities a vast silent reservoir of possibilities exists within all of us often you know we fail fail totally to recognize the possibilities within all of us and that i think is the most uh, uh, common and most dangerous mistake we all make uh, mo- mo- everything that we have achieved represents just a fraction of our potential eh? if only we keep trying eh? if only we understand like the vedas say tapasa vindate phalam tapasa vindate phalam tapas basically is a word which means austerity tapas means study tapas basically means when you make a concerted dedicated sincere effort pursue avidly the truth that is tapas that's all tapasa vindate phalam so success is possible only to those who undertake tapas not those who cut corners eh, who find shortcuts there are no shortcuts to real success <laughs> i am reminded of a, a small modern day parable hmm? uh, the parable is like this there is a chicken and a bull these two are friends and one day the chicken appeared very gloomy and the bull asked why are you sounding appearing so depressed and sad the chicken said you know i want to see the whole world but i am after all a chicken i don't have so much power in my wings i cannot fly so the chicken was developing some suicidal tendencies so the bull said don't worry eh you eat my dung a little every day it's a horrible suggestion but the chicken you say like they say a drowning man will clutch at a straw uh i'll have to speed up the because the audio track is getting lengthier so the chicken had the dung and after many days of eating dung uh, it found enough strength to uh, fly up and on a big tree on the first branch then it continued consuming more and more revital you see revital jio ji bhar ke so the chicken was eating all this finally it landed on top of the tallest sequoia tree you know sequoia trees california very big ones some 400 feet or more so it landed right on top or something like that something very big okay if not a sequoia tree uh, I, i rambled unnecessarily so there was a farmer poultry farmer who was walking he noticed this chicken sitting on top of this tall tree he said oh my god my chicken are running away he took out his gun and shot the chicken dead the story is over the moral of the story 
you think about it anyway i'll quickly tell you the moral of the story is bullshit can take you to the top but it cannot keep you there now what does this mean you can perhaps bullshit your way to success but you won't stay there long enough because if you can't perform you will fall right jai shri ram